Could be cheaper than Thailand. It's like the Thailand of Europe. What's up, P Nation? It's another beautiful day here in Romania. We are in Timisoara, Romania, and we've been in Romania for about a week now, and we cannot get over how cheap Romania is to travel in. So we're gonna show you today how inexpensive one day in Romania can be. Okay, so we first wanted to start off by showing you the currency conversion between US dollars and Romanian lei. So one US dollar is approximately four lei, so it's been easy because we've just been um, dividing everything by four. So five US dollars is about 21, 10 US dollars is about 42, and 20 is about 84 lei. Okay, now on to accommodation. So Zach and I have been traveling through Romania for about a week now, and every night we've been on a road trip, we've been spending about 20 US dollars. In Bucharest, you have a few options, on Airbnb at least, that are under $20, like 14 to 15 US dollars every night. Those places are gems. But in other places of Romania, like Timisoara or Alba Lulia, it's a little bit inflated just because they know that people want to go there for tourism. So we've been going from town to town, practically spending $20 a night. And most of the places do not have air conditioning, which is against what Zach and I stand for. But it's been okay. And we've also been staying in private rooms instead of our own entire apartment. But every accommodation has been really nice. And considering that we're in Europe, 20 US dollars a night is pretty good. Room tour time. So we have a ooh, lovely pink room with a nice double bed dresser, coffee table, sorry for the bags, other little dresser, and then our own private bathroom. Toilet, shower, nice, sink, and a skylight. I'm not about to mess with that. But for $16, amazing. So transportation in Romania is quite affordable. If you're in Bucharest, getting around the city is a real breeze. It's really, really simple. They have great metro system, great bus systems. The buses only cost about 50 US dollars. So, no, sorry, 50 cents US dollars. And the metro only costs about $1 for two trips. So it is so affordable. Now, Zach and I are currently on a Romanian road trip, so we rented a car for about $7 a day. That is crazy. It's so inexpensive. We are so happy to be spending a lot of time here just because it's so cheap to get around. cafe in the old town of Timisoara and prices are a little bit more inflated here than you can find in normal places. But I got a cafe latte for 15 lire, which is about 350 in US dollars. And that's not the most inexpensive cafe latte you can buy, but considering our location, that was pretty good. Okay, so we haven't really been exposed to cafe culture yet until just now. So how's that coffee? Amazing. <laughs> I have been living off of instant coffee that we've just been making like wherever we're staying. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a little hot water thing. Mm -hmm. So I've been living off of instant um, and that tasted amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we're here in Timisoara and we've been walking around the old city and we just have to say that this is so much different than the other towns we've seen in Romania. And I think it's because it's so close to Hungary and the Austro-Hungarian Empire, all that stuff kind of changed it and influenced. And we were thinking that like these buildings look more like colonial or more, um, I think the proper term is secessionist architecture. So it's just, it's, there's so much, they're so different than the ones we've seen like in Transylvania. Okay, 
anyway. We're not getting that Transylvania vibe even though we're here. It's more of like a, I don't know, like a European French kind of architecture. Timisoara is amazing. I had no idea that the city would be what it is. If you have time in Romania, you should definitely come here. I know it's kind of off the beaten path as far as like, if you're in Bucharest, it's hard to get here. So, but if you have time, you should definitely come here. We are now really hungry because we worked up an appetite. So we're gonna show you some lunch prices. Okay, so we wanted to go to lunch, we were really hungry, and we were passing by all these like cafes and things like that, and they, a lot of the times, cost like double the price what it is to actually eat at a restaurant inside. Not even a restaurant, just like a go order inside. And so we were looking really hard, and we finally found this place that is like inside, but it's right next to where all the cafes are. So at the cafe, you'll probably pay 30 to 40 lei to get your entree, but here, inside, you'll pay like 15 to 18. If you want like a shawarma plate like we got, it was 18, but at other places, that would be like 35. So it just depends on like the atmosphere, if you will, that you want to sit in. We have chicken, yogurt, spicy sauce, tomatoes, lettuce, pickles, and some fries. Mm. Ever since we went to Greece, I've really loved shawarma. This is really good, it's like peppery, and there's a lot of seasoning on it. I know that we're not like eating Romanian food, but if you want to see us eat Romanian food, look at our last video, which is a food tour that we did on our road trip. So we have a menu at a place on the street that's like a cafe, has lots of umbrellas, as you can see. The prices here are a lot more inflated. Normally a salad will be between 10 to 20, but here they're 25 to 27. As far as the main entrees are concerned, it's not actually too bad considering that it's got street seating. So main entrees normally will cost you between 15 and 25, but here they're 20 to 30. Okay, this is the third time we've seen this statue in Romania. It's the symbol for the city of Rome slash the empire of Rome. And it's just so interesting that these are still scattered throughout the country because Romania is named after Rome. at least as much as we can. We're kind of on a schedule because we're on a Romanian road trip and this is day six. So we're leaving Timisoara, which is practically in Hungary, mm -hmm. and we're going to Sibiu, which is more central Romania, and it takes about three hours to get there. So we're taking you with us and showing you a couple of our tricks to save money on the road. Okay, and after three hours, we have made it to our Lidl. This is our secret weapon when we're traveling. We go to the grocery stores and we get all the cheap items. We're about to show you how cheap they are in Romania. So the great thing about Lidl is that they are everywhere. It is like the main grocery store. You will always find one in every city you are in. We've been literally surviving off of sandwiches, off dollar bread, a dollar fifty cheese, and like a dollar fifty lunch meat. So simple, so easy, so cheap. This is the bread we normally buy. It's four lei, which is a dollar. One of our favorite snacks is like Nutella filled crunchy rolls. They are so good. They are only four lei. We love to buy cherry tomatoes and just snack on them on the go. Here they are three lei, 79 cents. Lunch meat, 6.59 lei. Cheese, and it's on sale here, just over a dollar. So when you're on the road as long as we are, you need to buy essentials. So shampoo and conditioner are only just more than a dollar. And we're about to do some laundry tonight. A giant bag of peanuts will cost you 4.49 lei. Another one of our secret weapons, lasagna bolognese. Here it's only nine lei. A giant jug of water will cost you 185 lei. A staple here, pretzel sticks will cost you 129 lei. 
some of my favorite gingerbread cookies will cost you 50 US cents. Okay, we were going to get the lasagna and make it at our Airbnb host's house. However, didn't work out with the time we're checking in. So we are headed into the city now to get some dinner. And just like that, we are here in the old town of Seabue about to get some dinner. So Leah loves burgers, so she has brought us to a burger place. Here, burgers are in the middle column and they are 20 to 30 lay. And on the left, you can have a burger with fries. They're about the same price as McDonald's. A couple of them are two to three lay more expensive, but other than that, it's about the same price as McDonald's here. Okay, and after that delicious dinner, we have made it to the city center. We have not talked about attractions yet. No. No. So most of the attractions here are castles or free cities. You go to the city to appreciate the architecture. Yeah. And that is the attraction. Yeah, and there are a lot of free walking tours here as well. So there are a lot of free things to do. However, the things that you have to pay money for, like castles and things like that, cost between seven to fifteen dollars depending on how you want to see yeah. them. I'm saying that because you can like buy extra tickets to like take pictures or videos, but if you True. just want to go see it for yourself, it's a cheaper price. The big castles cost between 20 to 40 lei per person. But you know, we're just two of us. So it adds up a little bit. Speaking of free activities, there seems to be a festival going on here. There's a lot of food vendors that aren't normally in permanent stands, and there's a couple bands. We're walking up on one now. It's just so lively. We are here on Whit Monday, which is a religious holiday in the Greek Orthodox Church. I think yeah. Right. Yes. And it's just so nice because everyone's out. They're eating ice cream. They're eating all these pastries. I kind of wish we didn't get burgers because everything looks amazing. There's so much cool architecture everywhere. Like behind us is the Lutheran Church of St. Mary. And this attraction is pretty cool. It's called the Bridge of Lies. So there's a myth here in Romania that if you are walking over the bridge and you tell a lie, the bridge will begin to creak and crack. And if you tell a big lie, it will collapse. Also, there's this whole thing about virgins on their wedding nights. And if they weren't actually virgins, they'd be thrown from the bridge. So that's kind of interesting, but also it's pretty cool because it's the first cast iron bridge in all of Romania. Now Leah is taking me up the spiral staircase to the guards tower, just like the lookout spot. Steps are taking me back to Thailand. Tower, guards clock tower is really really cool takes only a few minutes to go see only costs two lay and you get a workout like we said things in Romania mm -hmm. are cheap Whew, I hope that we helped you with some tips on how cheap this place actually is Leah said earlier that it might be actually comparable to Thailand which or maybe cheaper is pro it could be cheaper than Thailand it's like the Thailand of Europe yeah. so thank you for watching this video it was amazing road trip day number six yep. was awesome Seabue. <laughs> and we're so on our so in Romania you can find and that tasted amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.